Hello, I'm the Budget Modeler, and this is episode one of my new build, Meng's 124th Fokker DR1. If you're watching this, then please subscribe to my channel, give the video a like, leave a comment, and ring my bell. That'd be brill. Thank you. I'm not going to waffle. I'm just going to hand you straight over to Steph in the man cave. All over to you, Steph. Thanks for that introduction, Steph. So let's get straight on with it. This is going to be our next build. Meng's Fokker triplane. Yum, yum. I've already got the 130, 132nd, but I've also got the 124th. So this is the one without the Blue Max. So let me just move that to one side and box art. Lovely box art. Uh, box is a bit battered, but there you go. Uh, we've got the usual color call outs on the side. Picture on that side. Picture on that side, and blurb about the DR1 and the kit info. So this is Meng's Fokker DR1 triplane, 124th, yeah, whatever that word is, <laughs> series QS003. So let's get into the sprues. So, I lied, not the spruce, booklet. So, safety belt assembly. Looks, uh, oh, safety belt. So it looks like you've got some safety belts in here. So those will be probably be cloth or whatever they make them out of. So now having to cobble together some or using uh, dear old masking tape. So, yep, really, really good. I like this bit. They're telling you which bits to cut. That's nice. Same there. Decals. You've got your different optional parts. A, and A, C, B and D. A, C, B and D. So it tells you which ones have which colour. Shows you exactly how they go. So that hooks on there quite nicely. So you've got all the cables showing there. Twin cables there. There you go. Also shows you which bits to cut out, what colours, everything else. Your firewall or your engine mount. All the different bits and pieces. It's looking really good. Yep. Shows you which, there you go. A, C, B, D. A, C, B, D. Very detailed. Shows you all your little cutouts. Your guns. They're looking quite nice. So I'm liking the look of this. Let's just quickly rattle through this and we can get to the sprues. Engine detail. That looks nice. Well, I might have to detail that a bit. And a few cables for the spark plugs. And then it gives you all, there's very little rigging on this thing. So I'll probably be doing those beforehand. When we make the holes, all your sprue bits. And then your colours. So this is Ernst Dudet, black and white stripes. I'm liking, the, I'm really liking the look of this one. <clears throat> you got Red Baron von Richthofen, 
before he went all red. You've got Rudolf Klimk. Sorry about the... Note to yourself, turn the bloody compressor off before you start this. So, Rudolf Klimk. That's quite a nice one. And then Lieutenant Kempf, just the two. Ooh. Oh, that, that is quite, that's different. It really is different. So I'm still not sure which one I'm going to do. So, and then you get the colour callouts on the back. So I will go through those and write down which one's which. So just to double check that I have every colour that I need. So destruction's there. Now, let's have a look at these. You've got your cards. And I'm getting wind up by my dog because I'm in here and she's not. You get all the bits about the Flying Dutchman, uh, the Anton Fokker, who, who was a designer for the Fokker in several different languages. So, yeah, that's quite interesting. So, right. Now we can get to the spruce. So here's the first one. Main body and some wings. Yeah, you can see it's been uh, bumped and grinded through its delivery. Those are amazing, wow. You can feel all the ribbing and everything on there. The detail is so precise with absolutely, well, I'll say absolutely no, I'll, very, very little flash at the moment that I can see. Got a few extrusion marks that may need to come away. But on the rudder, no extrusion marks. That is fantastic. Absolutely none on the rudder. Moving on to the next one. These are the wing surfaces. Oh, don't know whether you can see that yet. Yeah, you can see that colour change there, so may need to watch for that. And that. No, no hold. So yeah, this are the detail. Oh, here we go. That'll need fixing. That's been smacked. So will that. So I'll have to look at fixing those two. Get those sorted. Okay, we've got a breakage here and here. So that'll need fixing. Yeah, this is taking a right good smack. But luckily that's broken at the right point there. That one, yeah, we'll be able to fix that. Not a problem. So I'm liking the way these all go into each other. The fixing points are fantastic. They are absolutely awesome. And the next one. is <coughs> tailplane guns so you can have them with the barrels or you can have the photo edge barrel parts little propeller that goes on the wing airspeed indicator well airspeed thing that tells you how fast you're going different props your seat your panel behind floor pan Oh, these are absolutely lovely. Side of the cockpit. So it's 
very very little need for anything to be added extra okay I've got a slight bend in that one Ooh, that's gonna need looking at yep definitely definitely but the, the quality is absolutely fantastic So we've got a double bag here. To be honest with you, this looks like it's been opened already. So we'll just need to look at one of these because they're twin bags. So wheels, elevators, support struts. The fine detail is fantastic. Oh, it really is close. That is just great. Really, really impressed. Cracking writing on the wheels. Okay. that's taken a knock and got broken yeah got breakage there but this is all looking fantastic Next bag is all the engine parts. I say all the engine parts. Yeah, it looks like all the engine parts. There doesn't seem to be many. But what they make up looks really, really good. So there's all your rockers that go in your cylinder heads. Oh, those cylinders are going to look great with some uh, washes on those. There's your rocker arms. Your exhaust yeah that is going to look fantastic and the last sprue is just your clear parts so they look good nice and crisp and clear yep looking good there right, next is a little box this is sprue W. Which we don't wait. There we go. Right, so you have your gun sleeves, which come pre-shaped. Oh, that is fantastic. Look at that. All pre-shaped. Brilliant. Come on. and get this to kick in no it's not playing is it but yeah they're all pre-shaped they look lovely those two do and behind here you have all your bits now what I've noticed on here is it has got tape on both sides but none of those have actually got connectors so no cleaning up get in no PE clean up woohoo That looks gorgeous. Gently put those away. Don't want to lose any of those straight away because that wouldn't be good. And finally, decal sheet. Yeah. There's your 
decal sheet. And oh, these are the fabric belts. They look lovely. I've never used things like this before, but they look fantastic. God knows why they've got glitter on them. Oh, they look great. I've never used these before, so look forward to trying those. And here's the decal sheet. There we go. I just lost my picture. So there you go. Again, absolutely fantastic decals. Really close in. So you may need I can may maybe score around there to remove all the excess, but there's only about a mil around those. Yeah, very, very little. And they look gorgeous. Yep, so. There we have it. Ming's 124 Fokker DR1. Not to be confused with a 132nd. So, looking forward to building this. Thanks for that, Steph. And also, thanks to you for watching episode one. If you want to see what happens when we start the model in episode two, please subscribe to my channel, help it grow, like the video, leave a comment and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe, keep on modelling.